Morning folks, happy Sunday morning at my uh, campsite up off of uh, Betty Brook Road in uh, uh, Summit, New York in Schoharie County. Betty Brook Road is basically an off-road track that uh, you can drive, well, at least a four-wheel drive. The lower part you definitely want a four-wheel drive. Lifted truck helps too because some places are pretty soft and rough now. Um, yeah, so Betty Brook Road is pretty much the same as it's always been. This is the better part of Betty Brook Road. And here's the campsite. I set up my bucket shitter. I never used it. I just dug a hole in the woods. But, you know, at night, you know, I always, you know, I always need to go to the bathroom. And uh, I don't like having to run around the woods after dark. And here's the flags. There's Big Red in my truck. Um, this is the fire pit. It's nice. This is the Betty Brook campsites is they have a little stone table you can use. And also now, if you can see, it's an officially designated New York State campsite. Yeah, so it's now legitimate camping up here. It's been on the map, the DC maps for years, but they never had a camp here logo. The flags. My truck it is completely covered with mud from uh, driving up from the south end of Betty Brook. Uh, I'll have to post a video of the drive up later on. Dash cam is working well, so I got a good, nice video. I was actually working on putting together the video last night. Uh, here's the new camp oven I have. It works pretty good. Uh, you do have to watch the temperature and adjust it. And uh, if you do get one of those camp ovens, you definitely want to use a uh, uh, internal thermometer because the external one that's on the outside of the case is okay for monitoring how much the heat, if it's you know, going down or going up. But it's not super accurate because there's cold air from the outside blows on it. Camp oven's kind of cool. I mean, any kind of basic baking you can do in it pretty well. You just basically put it on the camp stove. It uh, the camp stove produces hot air. It goes through the vents, which reflect up, and the hot air floats through it. Comes out good. Doesn't blacken up like you might think. If uh, you know, sometimes with you know Dutch oven or even reflector oven, if you're not real careful, you can make charcoal or whatever. But this works pretty good. It doesn't really blacken things up too much, especially in the you know higher positions because it's just the hot air is rising up if you watch the temperature and obviously you gotta adjust the knobs a little bit on the on the um, stove to make sure you're not getting too you know too hot but but as long as you keep an eye on it and uh, you know adjust accordingly it seems to work good I'm gonna be able to try to make muffins I got a little muffin tray when I was out shopping yesterday I use that to make muffins um, probably have to make like pizza when I'm up camping and other things uh, should be nice uh, over Independence Weekend. I'll take you back to the Betty Brook. Betty Brook's this quiet little creek that flows through here. Uh, lower parts of the creek have some trout in it. I don't think up here it's too shallow, too warm, but yeah, quite nice quiet mountain stream. Not in the big campsite, down a little ways from here because uh, someone else is there. But it's still a decent campsite. A little hard to get my truck in the site because you know, it's a big truck, small site, but made it happen. There's that table. Um, now I'll just walk around a little bit more and then we'll show it off because my battery's almost dead in this cam. I'm going to swap it out. Well, thanks for stopping by my campsite.